Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners with Jim Mashura. Today we're going to tie a blue quill. The hook that I have in the vise, this is a standard dry fly hook. This is a Maruto D31SSC. It is a size 14. It is a very, very sharp dry fly hook. And you can get these from FrostyFly.com. You can tie these down to size 18 or even 20 if you want. I'm using a size 14. It makes it easier for illustration. I'm going to use gray thread. And this is Vivis 16 Ot. Upside down. We're going to start that thread behind the eye. And we're going to come back halfway. And then we're going to move forward half of that. And that is the position where we're going to put our wing. For our wing, we're going to use blue done hackle tips. And I have these already uh, sized up. You want the wing to be just about the length of the hook shank. Going to line up those tips. And we're going to tie them in pointing forward. You can see I have on the back, I have a crew cut. So I'm going to actually leave a little bit of that crew cut. Maybe one, one or two barbels exposed. And if I did that right, what will happen when I stand them up, they are going to... You won't get any hackle wing fibers shooting out. Got a couple there. I'm just going to grab them and kind of tie them in. There we go. Yeah, I got a little bit extra on that, on that stem, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim them off. And we're going to, we got them divided. They're a little bit lopsided right now, but we'll take care of that when we get it back up there. I'm going to bring that thread back to the tail position. And now for the tail, we're going to use blue dun hackle fibers. And again, you want some nice stiff ones. The very bottom of this is webby, but the tips are long enough and stiff enough. So I'm going to just kind of bring them out at a 90 degree and line those tips up and then pull them all off at once. I'm going to go ahead and trim off a little bit of that web. And then we can hold them in place and tie them in. By trimming that a little bit before I went and tied them in, then you don't have to worry about trying to trim them off because they're too long touching the wing. Just going to clean this up a little bit. I think I'll even take care of that wing. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a figure eight. Something didn't wasn't right there. Wrap in front of it. When you make a figure eight, you want to keep that thread at the very base of the wing itself. Because you don't want to splay them too far. And if you don't have it right at the very base itself, you could end up pushing them forward or pushing them back. There we go. 
I'm going to bring that thread back there to the rear. Now for the body, you need a blue done uh, hackle stem. We're going to tie this in by the tip. That right to the wing, right to the tail. Now I'm going to try to level out the body with my thread there, which that was pretty good. I'm going to stop just behind the wing. Now we're going to take our body, our stem body, and we're going to wrap that forward. Make some nice tight touching turns and you'll see that you actually will have a two-tone on it. I'll give you that segmented body. And the blue quill is one of the earlier, earlier mayflies that you're going to see. Usually real early in the season you're going to see them small in like size 18. But the, coat, the trout really key in on them. I'm going to go ahead and secure that. But nice tight. It broke off there right nicely. And I got one heckle fiber going down. We got it right in back of the wing. Now we're going to take a blue dun hackle and I'm going to prepare this. I'm going to give this the haircut. Take the take them and stand them up at the 90 degree. go now that that crew cut there that's a little bit too long so I'm gonna just trim that back a little bit going to take the hackle I'm gonna put it right between the wing I'm gonna leave just a little bit of the crew cut exposed come down you want that pretty tight in back of it you see that far wing is getting pushed off that is one of, that is the reason why you want to keep it nice and tight. Get in front of it. I'm gonna secure that. Oop, went a little bit too far. Okay, there we go. We got our nice divided wing. Now we're going to wrap our hackle, put my hackle pliers on there, get a couple of wraps in back, then when we get to the wing we're going to hold them again, rub the wing with the hackle and that will stand them right up nicely. going to tie that in. Take my hackle pliers off. Keep that tension. Gonna hold it back and put a couple of wraps right in front. I can go ahead and break that off.
I'm going to take my half hitch tool, give it a single half hitch, just to get those fibers that were sticking forward, just to get them going back. You can see there. Now I can tie the head off. Take my whip finish. Take the poke and snip, trim that off. Put a little dab of head cement on the head. Clean your brush off pretty good. Going to take a spare feather that's on the table. I'm going to run that through the eye because I think I got some in the eye. There we go. And you've got a nice clean eye. And here we have a blue quill. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.